Tonight, I'm going to introduce you to basil gelato. It consists of two cups fresh basil leaves, two cups milk, vitamin D, full fat. It's got to be full fat, otherwise, it just doesn't taste good. After that, is one cup of heavy cream in addition to the full fat milk. Also really good. And all this is going to make about one quart, three quarter cup of sugar. We're going to come back to that. And got a teaspoon of lemon zest. You got a quarter teaspoon of salt. Not much. It just helps with the ice cream maker. It's coming up later. And then six egg yolks. No whites. Just save them for some kick-ass omelet that you're gonna make the next morning with basil gelato. Get all that in the blender. Just gotta blend it up until it's uh, pureed. Once we were walking around, we were looking for maybe a bite to eat or something, we found this little Trattoria Tavern. And there was a kind of a public, uh, what was it, like a fountain or something? Where we were sitting, we just caught the squat on this uh, flight of stairs. See, like right now, just a little bit, it's like 40 seat, so we're halfway there. Mm -hmm. And Look, there was a little gelato place, and the whole thing was trying to get as many flavors of gelato as we could. So we were waiting, and went into this gelato place, and I saw basil gelato. Like, ridiculous. So good. So ever since then, we kind of vowed to make some basil gelato. And that was, it was after we went to Venice and painted the, the Plague Doctor mask, which is a pretty, pretty sweet little gig. 44 C. Uh, this will probably take, you know, definitely longer than we have time to to video, but it, it's got to get to 86 C because that's when the granulated sugar will caramelize a little bit. So we can let that kind of simmer and I'll watch it. But whenever it's done, you get to 86 C. All it is is from there into use a fine strainer to get most of the 
leaves and the stems and all that stuff out of it. And then that whole thing is gonna go into the fridge for, it's usually three or four hours maybe. And just until it cools down to the point where you can put it in the ice cream maker, which is kind of, you got this inner bowl right here. And then hit it with that like 40, 45 minutes. And then uh, you can have soft serve, you know, at, at that point. Or uh, if you take this, this little dig, you see a little rooster on there, Chianti Classico. Just drizzle a little bit in the bottom. Then you have a little chunk of green goodness. The important part is to drizzle a little bit on top. You get kind of a cookie. And one sprig of basil. And you got it. basil gelato.